Hi everyone. We're about to start in just a few minutes. Thank you for joining us. Hi Kiki, hi Natalie. Hi Mom. <laughs> hi Carly. Oh, hey, Dr. G. All right, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Stephanie, I am the intake coordinator. Let me flip the camera really quick. Hi, I am Stephanie. I'm the intake coordinator here at Pelican Harbor. So if you've ever called for any animal emergencies, we've probably spoken. <laughs> um, and I also do tours here at the station. Today I'm really excited, we are here at our home our new property hopefully you can see and it's not too laggy and I'm just gonna walk around with you guys and talk about this for a few minutes before we have our very special release um, I think this is gonna be our first um, squirrel release on our Wednesday live releases so that's fun um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera So this is our new home here on right by the railroad tracks on I believe that's 81st and it is beautiful as you can see all of the trees all of the nature we're super excited to move here hopefully in the next couple years the sooner the better <laughs> Oh, it is, it is the first squirrel release here on the property. So that's exciting. This uh, property is full of wildlife. We've seen woodpeckers, vultures, all kinds of native birds here. Um, yeah, and we're really excited. So we're right along the river there. And um, you know, this is kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but we kind of have some stakes in the ground and we were kind of already mapping where our state of the art hospital is gonna be with all of our enclosures for mammals, songbirds, raptors, um, birds of prey, possums, yes, um, rabies vector species. So we're already planning kind of where everything is gonna be. We're very excited. Yeah, there's lots of possums here, here too. I believe we've seen raccoons here. So all very exciting, very cool. So today we're releasing a little gray squirrel. She was found um, down in South Miami, I believe in Cutler Bay. She's been here with us for 59 days. Here, let me flip this around. So this little squirrel has been with us for 59 days. Um, and she was found after she fell out of her nest. So she's a female. Um, and normally what we would do is when, when they fall out of the nest, we try to re-nest them so that their parents can come back and take care of them. Um, but unfortunately, the finders of this little squirrel did take him in um, and tried to care for her themselves. And unfortunately, that's one of the things that we do encounter a lot is um, Good Samaritans who think they're doing the right thing by taking these little orphans in and trying to take care of them. But unfortunately, this little squirrel, when it came to us, had aspirated. Hey, Devin. And so she had fluid in her lungs, so we did have to treat her for that. Um, so it did make it a little bit di more difficult to be able to re-nest her because by the time we already started helping her and medicating her, mom had probably moved on to a new nest. 
So she's been with us since she was a very tiny baby. Um, and she has recovered. She was suffering from mange as well. She came in with some patches of fur that were missing and some scabby skin. And she had a parasite on her skin. Um, an, a, a, a sarcoptic mange is what it was called. Um, and we had to do a skin scrape to be able to tell what was going on. And if you look on our Instagram, we made a really cool post showing that um, parasite on there. And it is a parasite that humans can get too. Um, so the same thing in humans is kind of called scabies. Um, so it's a mite that digs under our skin and it causes a lot of issues. <laughs> but luckily she was brought in, we were able to treat her. Um, and she has made a full recovery and she is a grown squirrel now. She's fully um, grown and she is ready to go back into the wild. So hopefully I'm gonna release her right here in front of these trees. and hopefully she'll make a home there. So squirrels are really important. They um, dig up nuts and they bury them in different places so that they can come back and remember them for the future. Um, but a lot of times squirrels forget where they dug up those nuts and acorns and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, luckily she was brought to the seabird station and she didn't uh, give her mange to any other little critters out there, dogs, cats, or humans. Um, or other squirrels. Um, yeah, so squirrels will dig up their little nuts and that's where they'll plant trees. So they're very important for our ecosystem and nature. So hopefully she can uh, live a good life here in these beautiful trees. And I do want to make, um, I kind of want to put it out. All right. So I think I disconnected there for a second. Um, please make sure not to medicate. Don't try and wrap their wings or anything. Just call us. Um, our rehab staff is all trained to do all kinds of treatment for all of our wildlife and we want to make sure they get the proper treatment that they need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the camera for the release. You guys want to give me just one second. Alrighty, so I'm gonna set you guys down right in front of the cage. So we can see when this little guy comes out. Let's put it right there. Hey Chris, how are you? We're gonna give her a few minutes to kind of realize that she is free and ready to go. And here at the station, we do treat squirrels. We treat hundreds of them. Oh, she's getting closer to the opening of the cage especially during baby season. It just so happens that here in Miami, we get a lot of
rain storms and thunderstorms during that time so a lot of nests get knocked out of the trees so if you guys ever find any injured baby squirrels please give us a call so we can help raise them they also many times come in be, due to cat and dog attacks um oh yeah she's peeking out oh <laughs> I think she's gonna have more fun out here. <laughs> See. And there she is taking her first steps outside. I'm gonna try to zoom in. You guys see her little head? She's peeking out. She's like, what's going on? Hi, Yvette. Yes, we want her to be free. <laughs> She's inspecting everything. There she goes. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> oh, and she is off. She went in there into the big kind of forest we got there. Yay. <laughs> yes. Oh, we love her too, but it is time for her to go back into the wild. This is the beauty of it. We see them when they're injured and then they get all better and we're so excited to have them back in the wild. Yes, she's super fast. <laughs> so she is gone now. She is out in the wild and she's now in our new home. Yes. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, just thank you guys. If you find any injured wildlife or orphaned or sick, please give us a call. Um, if you can donate, please donate at our website, pelicanharbor.org slash donate. Or you can also um, make a fundraiser here on Facebook if you have any cute pictures of any animals you've helped rescue. Um, if you go to our homepage and just hit uh, create fundraiser, you can build a little fundraiser, get the word out to your friends and family that we exist and we do great work. Um, it's really exciting. and. Um, uh, you can call us at 305-751-9840 for any animal emergencies. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Have a great day. We'll see you next week.